Hi students, welcome back. Now let me explain you uh, explain the Kohan Sutherland Kohan Sutherland line clipping algorithm example. So first I'll explain the example. Later we'll discuss the algorithm. Okay, let's see this example. So by seeing this picture, what do you understand? So this is a clipping window. Whatever the line, uh, lines that are present inside that has to be uh, accepted and outside the lines has to be rejected. So here P1, P2 is completely outside the line. So you can reject it. And P3, P4 is inside. The two endpoints are inside. You have to accept. Here P5 and P6 is one end is outside and one end is inside. So in this case, you need to be clipper. And here also in this case, you need to be clip. Okay. So how i can uh, i can reject and when when i need to reject uh, and when i need to accept let's see the problem so first case let me write case 1 let me take this first p1 and p2 p1 and p2 so let me take p1 and p2 so what are the codes for this let me write the codes the top is 1001 so the first thing is whenever the diagram is given, write, try to write the each region code. So let me write the each region code here, all zeros. And this is 0, 0, 1, 0. And here 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. And this is 0, 1, 1, 0. So he, here I have written the region codes. Now let calculate. So what is the P1 region code? P1. I, I'm calculating this thing so whether this line has to be accepted or rejected i have to uh, decide it so p1 is 0001 so which is a non zero i non zero and p2 is so p2 also 0001 so this is also a non zero so after that you have to uh, do the end operation okay end operation so what is the end operations? So whenever the uh, both the if 0, 0 is there, 0, 0, 1 is there, 0, 1, 0 is there, 0, 1, 1 is 1. Okay. So just remember this. This is the end operation. So 1, 1 is 1, 0 is 0, 0, 0. So if you perform the end operation, you got the non-zero values. So, when every term that is a P1 is non-zero, P2 is non-zero, if you perform the uh, end operation, if it is also the non-zero, it indicates that, it indicates that P1 and P2 are completely outside the window. If all non-zeros are there, if all non-zero are there, it indicates, it indicates P1 and P2 are completely outside the window. Completely outside the window. So, whenever it is completely outside the window, just reject the line. Reject line. So, no need to accept this line. So, when all are non-zeros, just reject the line. We want the term uh, lines that should be zero. That is after doing the end operations and before you have to uh, make it as all the lines should give the value 0, 0, 0, 0. So, in the first case, we rejected this. So, P1 and P2 is rejected. Now, let's see the case 2. That's case 2. So, in the case 2, let's take P3 and P4. So, where are the P3 and P4s? P3 and P4s are inside the uh, clipping window. So, check whether this line has to be accepted or not. Okay. So, what is the P3 value? 0, 0, 0, 0. And what is the P4 value? 0, 0, 0, 0. If you perform the end operation, what you will get? All zeros. What it indicates? So, this is a 0 and this is 0 and this 0. So, if all zeros are there, it indicates, it indicates P3 and P4 are completely completely inside the window inside the clipping window so in this case no clipping is required required accept the line accept the line 
So in the previous case, I reject the line. Why I reject the line? Because you get all non-zeros. When if it is all non-zeros, you have to completely reject the line. Okay. So just reject the line because it is outside the clipping window. So if you get all zeros means in that case also no clipping is required. If one is non-zero means then you there is a chance you have to be perform the clipping operations. But here all are, all are non-zeros. Uh, so you have to accept the lines and no clipping is required. Now let's see the case 3. So what is the case 3? Let's take P5 and P6. So where are the P5 and P6? Here. This is a P5 and P6. So here the clipping is required. How can I say that clipping is required here? Let's see that. So what is the P5 value? The region value 1, 0, 0, 0. So which is a non-zero value. And P6 is? The P6 is present inside. P5 is in the region 2. P6 is inside. So P6 is all zeros. Which is a 0. So here 1 is non-zero and another is 0. So whenever these cases comes, there is a clipping is required. You have to make this P5 also all zeros. Let's see. If you perform the AND operation, you will get all zeros. Okay. So if you get all zeros means there is a chance if you clip the window, that is a, if you clip the line P5, then uh, you can accept that line. Let me write. It indicates P3 and uh, sorry P4 and P5. Some portion lies inside because it is 0 and some portion outside. So, in this case, clipping is required. Clipping is required. So, we are in the case 3. So, how the clipping is required? Okay. So, let's see. So, in this case, we need to find the intersection point on the window. So, this is a line. Okay. So, here the P5 and P6 are there. Okay. So, here we need to find the intersection point. So, let's take this is P5 dash. Let's take P5 dash. So, just whatever the diagram that is there, I have written this. Okay. So, here we need to clip the line. So, the intersection point has to be taken as P5 dash. Now, apply P5 dash and P6. So, what is a P5 dash? So, P5 dash is this is 0, 0, 0 and this is 1, 0, 0. So, here we have to calculate only this part. This part should be clipped. So, whenever it is clipped, we again you need to check whether this is accepted or not. This part is accepted or not. So, here the P5 dash is 0, 0, 0, which is a 0. And what is the P6? The P6 region is also 0. So, just add, perform the AND operation. So, here the P5 dash and P6 dash or lies inside the window. So, consider this line. Okay. Accept. P5 dash and P6 and clip, clip P5 and P5 dash. So, just clip this P5 and P5 dash. This part has to be clip and just accept P5 dash and P6. So, in the same way, you have to protect the next value. What is a P6, P7 and P8? So, where are the P7 and P8? Oh, these two are outside the windows. Outside the window. The two endpoints are outside but some portion is lies inside. So, you need to accept only this line and these two has to be rejected. So, here you have to perform two times the clipping operation because you have to take this intersection point and this intersection point. Two intersection points you need to be taken. Now, let's see this. So, what is a P7? The P7 is 0100 0, 0, which is a non-zero value and the P8 is also 0010 0, 0, which is a non-zero value. So if you get the answer uh, and operation is also non-zero you can reject that line. No need to perform the clip operation but here you got the end operation is a zero. So whenever you got the end operation on the two uh, endpoints if you get the zero value you need to clip. 
you need to click. Okay, suppose if you get this is a non-zero, just reject the line. No need to clip and don't accept that line. But here in this case, uh, if you perform end operation on non-zero items, you got the zero. So whenever there is a, uh, whenever you get that zero value, so you need to clip. So how? You need to find the intersection point. So this is P7 and P8. Okay, so these are the two intersection point P7 dash and P8 dash. Okay, so first P7 and P7 dash has to be clipped and perform the operation on P7 dash and P8. First, let's, let's check that case. So, P7 and P7 dash has to be clipped because it is completely outside. Both of the, uh, you get the non-negative value. So, now calculate P7 dash. So, what is a P7 dash? 0, 0, 0, 0, which is present inside and P8 is 0, 0, 1, 0, which is a non-zero. If you perform the AND operation, you will get all zeros. So, again you need to be clipped. So, repeat this process until we get all the zeros values, means the P7, P8 dash has to be clipped. So, P8 and P8 dash has to be clipped and perform the operation on P8 dash. So, what is the P8 dash? 0, 0, 0. And P7 dash? 0, 0, 0. So, all are 0 values. So, accept the line P8 dash and P7 dash. Okay. So, you have accept the line P8 dash and P7 dash. So, here also you have to accept only P5 dash. This has to be rejected. So, how the uh, picture will be? Look, let's see here. So, the output is like this. So, this is a clipping window. This is clipping window. I rejected this line. You have to accept P3 and P4. And here also you rejected the P5 and P5 dash. So, just accept P5 dash and P6. Okay, so here also you rejected P7 and P7 dash is rejected. Only these part is accepted P7 dash and P8 dash. So just take this and P8 dash P8 is rejected. So this is how your image will be look like. So this is a previous image and this is an image. The outside the clipping window are clipped completely. So this is. Uh, the example of the Kohan Sutherland line clipping algorithm. So, in the next video, I will explain the algorithm. Thank, thank you.